An army marches on its stomach. Or so the old saying goes. My clansmen have been farming and tending sheep for hundreds of years. But gathering enough food to feed an army is a different matter entirely. Without a strong economy, the meagre forces that we have cobbled together will collapse again. To support the Scottish army, you will need to build up your stockpile of resources. To win, gather 50 food, 50 wood and 50 gold. To gather food from the forage bush, click a villager. Kia. Then right click a forage bush near the blue flag. In the status area at the bottom of the screen, you can see how much food the villager is carrying. The villager continues to gather from the forage bush until he is carrying 10 food. The villager will continue working for you, carrying the food to the town centre. The amount of food you have is shown in the upper left corner of the screen. In addition to your food stockpile, you can see your current wood, gold and stone stockpiles. The more villagers you have, the faster you can gather resources. Assign your new villagers to gather food. Great. You now have 50 food. To win, also gather 50 wood and 50 gold. To gather wood, click a villager, then right click a tree. If you haven't found any gold yet, search in the unexplored territory. Kid. Good job. Bonage. You now have enough wood. Kia tow. Cart tow. Good. Bead you found fear. some gold. Love. Bead fear. Kid. Excellent. You now have enough gold. You're well on your way to making a city. Edward Longshanks, for all its disrepute, has shown his military tactics in Wales, England and France to be very effective, if not cruel and ruthless. He is indeed an enemy to be feared. The English sacked the town of Berwick-upon-Tweed. With that I could call it a battle, but it was truly more of a massacre. Unless we organize our army, there will be more massacres to follow. I pray that we can be ready when Longshanks comes.